Okay. One day, the Lord said something about the Amalekites, who were the first to fight Israel. And he said, I'll brought out their name from the surface of them. No country is called Amalekite. Mm. He said, I'll brought out their name. Because they fought, and it was not a fair battle. When Israel was leaving Egypt, they didn't even have military. They didn't have soldiers. They didn't have police. They were just frustrated slaves. And they gathered arms to come and fight them. But he said something. He said, the iniquity of the Amalekites are not full. So, Bonina, who you are, you are not a judge. It's not that God is not a judge. Oh, Jesus Christ. I wish I can talk to somebody. No. This is a serious matter. I'm going to change gear in the prayer. And from now, it's going to be very serious. Watch this. You are going to feel very hot and co- either cold or hot on your seat now. From now to the next 15 minutes, watch something. But he hit me. What I'm going to preach, you will start sweating. Watch this. Instantly, the angel of the Lord struck Herod. You look like a righteous sister, but behind the scene. When nobody is watching, when you are there, because you can be a Christian in church and a devil at home. Some of you, where the area you live, nobody knows you as a Christian. Many years ago, when we were in Global, there was a girl living in Bukum that was not coming to church, and we had some pastor going to visit. When we went there, I'm not good at speaking Ghan. Where we greeted the mother, we said, We are brothers in church. The, the woman said, You say you are Christians, and then you yourself cry, I suspect you. You said, This my daughter is a Christian. Oh, I see. So you devils are in your church. That is his mother's thing. If you won't get anything, the reason your prayer is not answered is sin. Secret sins. Secret sins. Amen. Secret sins. Hmm. This sin matter in our generation is becoming something. Uh, I wrote something here. Sin is addictive. Sin is what? Hebrews chapter 3 verse 17. Sin is what? Hebrews chapter 3 and verse number 13. Sin is addictive. Hebrews 3 13. Sin is what? Addictive. But exhort one another daily. Why it is called today? Lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. So that brings me to the second point. Sin is deceitful. Sin is deceptive. Let me put it this way. Sin is not only addictive, it's deceptive. We'll come to that, but let me run commentary on the first one. Addictive. So, you need to put on a fight to come out. We must put on a fight to come out of sin. Hey, this one is something that occurred to me in my prayer crusade. And whilst I was in my prayer room, I just heard, I don't know why, sometimes you just get tuned up and you are communicating with heaven. And I saw, and I, Jesus said that, I'm still building the mansions. Since Jesus left, he's still building the mansions. In my father's house are many mansions. If he has not finished building the mansion, that means that many will make it to heaven because he's still building. But watch this. Many will make it to heaven because Jesus is still building the mansions. Many are going to make it to heaven. What is many? Many start from two. What is many? It starts from where? Two. Listen to me. What are the kingdoms? What is it? The, that he may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom. And sit on the 12th throne. Sit on the throne judging the 12 tribes of Israel. So there were 12 thrones and for the 12 tribes. And there were 12 apostles. But Judas makes his own. <laughs> Judah at that time was not betrayed Jesus. He was part of the people who were supposed to have a throne. By the time he was dying. He was on his way to another direction. Do you know who substituted Peter? I believe it's Apostle Paul. So the fact that there's a throne for you that's not me, of you be hiding through the deceitfulness of sin. Do you know why many people find it difficult to come to this church? Somebody was talking to a politician and he said, you, you, you and he said, go and see Prophet Anna. He said, no, I want to see him, but that's what that guy, I'm afraid of his preaching. He said, I'm not ready because me, the way of preaching, you know, the things I do, I can't sit in his church. So some people, eh, Satan has already moved them out of hell. He has taken, he has diverted their course. They will get the whole world and lose their soul. I don't want to. Let's say, hey, I don't want to. There is nothing you will give me that will reduce my love for God. Are you getting what I'm talking about? No material thing. There were material things as diverse. There were people in this church, they used to be very active commitment until God started blessing them. They are not even near the blessing God has given me. 
But the little they tasted, it has reduced their love. The sinfulness of sin. I told you, you start sweating. Have you seen? I can predict where I'm taking you to. I can tell you. When heaven tell me, change the gear, I can feel it. I exalt, I exalt one another. Huh? Hurting truth. Why shall become? This devil has been doing this work for a long time. The Bible says he deceived the whole world. I just, he deceived the whole world. He deceived the whole world. If he deceived the whole world, oh my goodness, he can deceive you. You can sit in church and be deceived. You'll be deceived totally. You are following somebody's husband, you are deceived. You are looking for money, you are deceived. You are trying to get what is not time for you to get. Go there. I want to show you. Go to the next verse, verse 14. For we are made partakers of Christ. If you hold the beginning of the confidence, stay fast unto the end. So there is a battle to fight. <laughs> there is righteousness battle to fight. We cannot toy with God. No. This God rain fire and destroy Sodom and Gomorrah. He said rain, kill everybody and left eight people. Who say you want a crowd in heaven? So you are not is created for the devil but you choose to go there this is in the bible i'm going to read it to you all the doctors fornicators uncleanness last viciousness they would not there is a message god give me about last viciousness that is him last viciousness the word last vicious one of the highest say last viciousness is what i call extreme it's not for today it's not for today it's not for today. <laughs> it's not of today. You have crossed the line. Completely. If you won't get anything from this fasting because of your secret sins. Mm. Sin is what? And it's what? It's Can I add another one? It's destructive. It will destroy you. Sin will destroy you. <laughs> Sin will destroy you. It will destroy Right? I was listening to with mommy. Some of you must heard it on, I don't know, social media or something. There was a guy who was a homosexual, but he, he plays the woman part. And he goes around, people sleep with him in his anus. And he say, my anus is destroyed. You, you listen, they say, there's a bloody thing called a krobewu. He goes to sleep with uh, this man, he come and sit on a krobewu. Another man called, he come to see. Now, forgive my language. I'm not the one, I heard it. The guy said, when the men are sleeping, sometimes I poo poo. He said, I have been destroyed. He said, my anus is completely destroyed. Sin is destructive. Destructive. Now, do you know why? This sin is very strong. I mean, I, 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 I will not judge you. If you say women are short, so because you couldn't get one, you are chasing a man. God is wisdom say, I will make the woman so more that even the polygamy takes on, there will still be left for people to marry. If the polygamists take 10, there will still be enough. So God in his wisdom said that, I check the statistics of people that are born in hospital. Every time, women are more than men. The God that gave people success to come on earth. So what is your, what is your, you can decide. I loved every homosexual. I love them. I love you. If you're homosexual watching me, I love you. And I want you to know that Jesus loves you. But I also want you to know that you'll be destroyed. If you don't repent, you will be destroyed by it because sin is destructive. Sin is destructive. Sin, burning a sinipa. It has wages, and each wages is death. We pay wages to people here. They work from Monday by Friday. They all line up to come for their their wages. That is what they work from Monday. So the way they work and they pay them sin as wages. The wages of sin is death. It has wages. I'm telling you, put on a fight. Put on a fight against homosexuality. Put on a fight against lesbianism. Put on a fight against that vibrator in your back. By the time you sleep with metal, how will you enjoy man's? How will you enjoy flesh? By the time what you are holding is a metal, how will you enjoy flesh? You will enjoy flesh. God didn't create a human, man's manhood as a matter. 
it is not brass. It is not a, a, a what do we call it? Stainless steel. It is oh Jesus Christ. I feel like preaching this thing. By the time you are putting metals in your side, how will you enjoy human flesh when you come? Sin is destructive. Sin is very destructive. If you are not sweating, then you are a sinner. By this time, you should be sweating like I'm sweating now. You should be sweating. If you don't get anything out of this 70 day fast, it may be your appointed, your divine appointment with heaven. But sin may divert your course. Jesus Christ, somebody still, ah, on the day he died, he said, well, today remember me when you go to your kingdom. He said, you'll be with me in paradise. Sin, one, one second to close his eyes, he was diverted to paradise. He was on his way to, to hell and diverted to heaven. Judas was on his way to heaven and diverted to hell. His throne was replaced. You think God cannot replace you? Sit down. You are playing games. You go to this church. You go and deceive this pastor. Then you come to this. There are people here. They are 13 pastors. You cannot be under one covering. So God cannot anoint you. Because you are too contaminated. I'm not saying don't go to any meeting. You must have many instructors. But have one father. Yeah. Well, some of the people here. They don't go to any place. But they are doing well. They do all they know is they are doing very, very well. They are doing well. Because that's what God has made it. If you are in tribe of Judah, dress like a tribe of Judah. If you are in a tribe of Reuben, dress like a tribe of Reuben. Are you getting it? The people in Judah are your brothers, but you can't be like them. Sin is very, very dis destructive. It will destroy you. I don't care what it is. Of, I mean, foodholic, you can't fast. 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 You have been sold to slave. The Bible said their God is their belly. You can make your God, God your belly. Corinthians say your God is your belly. If you cannot fast. Now, do you know, let's say the God was telling me something. He said, you have been saying that you love me more than your wife. You just say it for sake and sake. But you don't want to explain it to you. And I said, okay, I'm ready for, to learn. And he said, let me explain the depth of what you say you love me more than your wife. Because if you begin to love your wife more than me, then your wife has become an idol. That means that in the beginning, God, anything that takes God's place, so God must be first in everybody's life. When something takes God's place in your life, that thing is your idol. And the other something is, assuming you love your wife more than me, then I will kill her because he has taken my place. So most of you, eh, there is a reason God kill your business because the business took God's place. Yeah. I am talking about divine explanation. There is a reason why some people, some things die because I, thou shalt love the Lord your God. This is the first of the commandment. Thou shalt love the Lord your God with all thy strength, with all thy might. With all thy, then you can love your neighbor as yourself. So anything you love above God has become your idol. And you make that thing vulnerable. So you see, that boy, that is the reason why you are not singing well in the choir. God is about to kill him. The reason is that God loves you. He has not finished his work with your life. So anything that replaces him in your life, he must kill it. Listen to what Jesus said. Anyone who cannot leave father, mother, property buildings, sons and daughters cannot be my disciple. It means that when anybody takes my place in your life, one, that thing has become your idol. Because I kill idols, I will kill it. So you shall not make any other goals. First commandment. Whatever stops you from coming to church is your idol. So your business will never survive. There is somebody here who is supposed to be in church. What is the secret of the Jewish people's prosperity? They don't replace the place of God with anything. Carry $10 million to a Jewish man shop, 12 o'clock, 5 o'clock Friday, he will say, go with your money. Pastor Agu told me something. He said, he met a Jewish man and he said, what is your... Uh, I thought you said Monday you don't come. I said, yes, Monday I don't go to church. And he said, but you are, look at what you are doing. Eh? You are driving around. You are walking around. You are going to offices. And he said, so you are an adulterer. He said, how can you talk to me like that? I'm not an adulterer. 
He said, you are a thief. He said, what can you say? He said, do you steal? He said, no. He said, thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not covet your neighbor. Do you covet people's wives? He said, no. He said, if you don't do this thing, then why is it on a Sabbath day you are not resting? Hmm. He said, it opened my spirit. Now to the Jewish man, if I don't commit adultery and I still work on Sunday, then I have, I'm still an adulterer. Hey. Why? Because the job has become my idol. This is a generation that cannot stand for God. Can you imagine people cannot come to church because of coronavirus? Mm. But when the devil killed people, you were spared. So if coronavirus has strength, how didn't he kill you? Mm. God spared you to come and worship him. You are still at home talking slangs. Because let me tell you something. If the virus is going to kill you, it doesn't matter what you wear. They say wear masks and you are wearing it. Continue to wear it. Do you breathe? Are you breathing? When you breathe, where does the breathing pass? So if breathing can come out, the breathing can go in. No, don't, don't, don't follow Babylon in their deception. Obey the government and do it. But your protesting is not in this max. Because so once you close all your doors and leave the air condition, you still see dust. Because there's a hole under the door that a small, a small air passes there and it brings dust. So if, if you can breathe out wearing the mask, then you can still breathe in. If this, ox, this spirit works with air, then when you are breathing in, what were you breathing in? There is another deception. I was in a plane. They say wear masks together, but when they started sharing food, they remove your masks and eat. <laughs> the Babylonian deception, eh? Let me tell you something. When you come, they will say that when you are eating, you don't talk. But I've opened my mouth. If you believe that thing comes by air, then we shouldn't breathe. We should walk around. No, we are there. But if you are not spiritual, yeah. then you come under heat control. So when I preach the truth to you, your mind starts wandering around because you don't want to know the truth to be free. Why? Because your government says where. But that is not where your protection is. Your protection is in Christ. Yeah. Sing. If you're not going to get anything out of this one, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 11, 3. I love what Apostle Paul said. I love what Apostle... If you're not going to get sin, 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 sin there. But I fear deception. I say sin is what? Deceptive. I fear less by enemies as the serpent begat Eve through his subtlety. So your mind should be corrupted from the simplicity of the gospel. The serpent deceive Eve so you can be deceived. All this walking around. No, 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 I'm not. you'll never be happy. When I listen to the thing, right? the guy who was interviewed, the guy who said that he goes around, he said when he meets prostitutes, he also feels he's also a prostitute. Because he served men. And they asked him, how many men have you slept? He said over 600. Be a man lying. I listen. How many of you listen to that thing? You do listen. How many did he mention? 600. He said, that, he, said he, he can't even remember some. He said every day he sleeps with four men. His anus is gone. And there's something he said. He said the men, some of them have size 9, size 12, size 10. He said all of that. If you have gone to sleep with that guy, what is your size? I want to find out. He said, he said, sometimes they open this and they destroy. Saying this, I love him. I lo if you are here, you are gay. I love you. But Jesus also loves you. I love you to my intestines. But if you don't repent, you'll be destroyed. That's why there's no bottom line. There's no, there's no neutral line. All the gays are not clapping, but I don't care. I'm still preaching. No? You can give yourself a name. I don't mind. I love them. I love them. But I want to tell you that it's your choice. You decided. You decided to choose that path. But I want you to know that it's destructive. Whatever anger you look at it from, it's destructive. He's the only one who has come out to say it. He says a point to Tom. He went to us. The doctor said that if you don't stop, you die any moment from now because your anus is destroyed. He said there are some tons and some vents. Destructive. 
Tell, so, tell your neighbor, that sin will destroy you. That sin, it will destroy you. <laughs> there is nothing in this world. Let me tell you something. There is nothing in this world. All the cars you are chasing, all the houses, all the monies you are chasing, one day you realize that they are, you are useless. If, and if the richest man who has ever looked tell you that they are vanity, then give it attention. Who make, Solomon made gold like dust. At the end of the day, he says it's vanity. So, they are covetous spirit. Covetousness. Ay, 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 ay. You want it. You want it. Covetousness. <laughs> I'll show you Joshua chapter 9, verse 21. Co- Joshua chapter 9, verse 19 to 21. Huh? Achan, God said, don't touch anything there. But all the princes, all the princes said, Joshua chapter 7, verse 19. Sorry. 7, 19. 7, 19. 7, 19. I, I beg your pardon. 719. I am so much loaded in some. And Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray thee, glory to the Lord. <laughs> they went to fight one particular uh, town. What was their first battle? With what? Yeah. They fought Jericho. They fought I first. Jericho first. Yes. And they conquered Jericho. And they went to I. And they thought they could beat I. And I beat them. So this faith guy could understand. How can we finish America and Togo is beating us? <laughs> so something like not knowing God say, everything in Jericho have cursed it. Joshua himself has cursed it. Don't take anything there. Covetous Achan took it. If you marry a wrong man, it's covetousness. If you marry a wrong woman, it is possible you were converting something from her. Watch this. Watch. And Joshua said unto Achan, My son, give, I pray. So they cast Lord. When they were finished, they were casting Lord. The Lord fell on Achan. Bam. What is happening? Something might have gone wrong. We are not supposed to lose this battle. God didn't tell me that. What is the problem? They begin to find out. Look at your neighbor and say, Don't mess my blessing. Don't mess my blessing. It means that this seventh day, if I don't get blessed because of your sins. There is a place. The Bible says in the book of Acts of the Apostle, none of them was lacking because all of them were holy. <laughs> I want to say that again. In the book of Acts of the Apostle, none of them was lacking. They were so open hearted that they were selling lands and bringing the money to the apostles' feet. The reason none of them was lacking is that not all of them pleased God. Now, all of them won the battle at Jericho and they lost the battle at Ai because one person has contaminated himself. Joshua came down. When the Lord fell on him and said, give glory to God. Joshua said unto Achan, Joshua said unto Achan, my, my son, give, give, I pray thee the glory to the Lord God of Israel. And make confession unto him. And tell, and tell me now what thou hast done. Hide it not from me. I want to know the details of the matter. Mm. No mom payma. Me don't catch a bow soon. I catch a bit. So tell Pastor Habit. Or go to Pastor Martin. They carry pastors. I'm, I'm a prophet. Don't play games with me. Hallelujah. So man, can I confess it? I have made them Roman fathers to receive confession. Go there and confess. If you like, Pastor, we'll build a small chamber. He will hide in the tent. Then we'll come. Go there. I am your daughter, a queer Isra. Me patch your sofa. And no, me boy Jamain Fiti Vita Vita B. Na it is saying. Now Pastor Habit, I see. A rade a do bonny at you. Joshua said, confess the sin. Some of you here, iniquity is not making your prayer answered. Iniquity. Iniquity. Many people will not follow Christ because of the sexual organ. If I come to Jesus, how will I stop following this girl? And the, the, the other ones that you will still come to church by Germany, they enjoy. When one you say Oda, because Oda no me bahwa, they are my own. Oh, where are you? A German, they enjoy. That is what you are saying. I tell you, you'll be destroyed. It's just a matter of time. I bet two or two, baby. Somebody's wife is cursing you. Oh, you know who are giant naked. No, I cast us as I am naked. So will you be naked outside? In two points, one day, be a bit draw at the jack. And no me. And no me. I was listening to a girl who became converted in Ghana. She was like a star or whatever. Some of this thing. And one person did a tape. 
the, 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 the person says it's his brother. And he said, this is my sister. People have cursed her. Yeah. I heard it from the guy. Some of them can come and stand in front of our houses and break egg and curse. Oh dear, no, you're breaking egg, you know, you're breaking your baby. Sin is destructive. If you won't get anything out of this facet. So, also for that is why I said that strength from above. It is not only praying that God give me a car. Lord, take this sinful life from my life. I am not ready to continue this thing. I am tired of this life. How long will I continue fornicating? How long will I continue living live adulterous life? I don't want to continue this masturbation. I don't want to continue this one. The Lord bless those who are clapping for him. Say it's destructive. Hey, Prophet Anna, I am laying hands on you to become a millionaire. I am laying hands on you to be blessed. I, I dedicate people's car. I dedicate, I want to dedicate one of my, my daughter's house. Last week I went there with mama. When I got there, I told her, I said, girl, this house is not a house, it's a hotel. Huge house. Powerful. Went there, dedicated it. State of the art. I am interested in your prosperity. You must prosper, but I'm interested in you going to heaven. Yeah. The, the ultimate of my interest is that we will not miss it in heaven. So you have here, I will say, hey, we made it. 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 May we see one another in heaven and say, we made it. You will not miss your place in heaven. No one will take your place in heaven. We brought nothing to this world. And certainly, we will take nothing away. A man's life does not depend on the abundance of the things he possesses. If you don't take care, you will destroy your life. Sin is destructive. You can get angry. You can go somewhere, but I don't care. Sin is destructive. We have to get to one another. And we have to go there. We brought nothing to this world. Yeah. Don't let any material things stop you. Yeah. Heaven don't have houses, they have mansions. Yeah. So don't, 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 don't crave for houses and miss a mansion. Yeah. Don't crave for earthly houses and miss heavenly mansions. Angels are the masons. Angels are the carpenters. The Bible says the street in front of the mansions are tied with gold. So what is what actually do they use for the rooms themselves? If the streets are gold, then the rooms are what kind of? Jesus Christ. Sin is destructive. I can tell you, I have seen them talk. <laughs> because Babylon will let it look like it's attractive. That is very destructive. Wow. If you don't get anything out of this fasting, that's what's going to happen. Secret sins. Number two, if you don't get anything out of this fasting, it's going to come as a result of laziness. Lazy. Laziness. Lazy. Look at your neighbor and say, I know you are lazy. I know. Tell them. No, tell them, tell them, tell them. Tell them. Don't be afraid. I say tell them, so tell them. Tell them that I know. I don't need anybody to tell me myself. I know you are a lazy girl. Tell the person, I know you are lazy. Laziness. Laziness. Spiritual laziness. Spiritual what? Spiritual what? Laziness. Spiritual laziness. Lazy. Any ha. You can't wake up and pray. You cannot go through anything and come. Laziness. <laughs> the truth is that many Christians are very lazy. Especially when it comes to spiritual exercise. Lazy. Lazy. Oh, okay, I have a call now. I'm sorry. 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 i am sorry God wants me to be a prophet, but for the, it depends on the depth you use me, I must avail myself. So when you see me lock myself in a room, it's availability. I am coming to God and say, make me usable. 
And so cut all the things that will not make you useful. Laziness. If you won't come, it's laziness. One of the keys, when I listen to the motivational preachers, one of the keys they talk about, the keys that lead to prosperity is hard work. Even though sometimes I contradict scripture. Because <laughs> I saw in the Bible that, except the Lord build, they that labor, they labor in vain. So don't work hard in the natural and be lazy in the spirit. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Now, because of laziness, you can't even clap in church for Jesus Christ. It leads me to my next point. If you don't get anything out of this fasting, it will be pride. <laughs> Did I give you scriptures for secret sins? Plenty. But add Isaiah 68 verse 18 to it. Isaiah 68 verse 18. Let's all read it. Write it under secret sins. <laughs> First of all, born in the Isaiah 68. Oh, sorry. If I had in no Psalm, 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 Psalm 68. Did I say Isaiah? For, forgive me. Isaiah is not even up to 68. Psalm 68. Is this 66, 18? If I had iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Eh? If I regard 66, 18. If I regard iniquity in my heart, the Lord will not hear me. Everybody say iniquity. But now you know, be Sometimes I'm not talking about power home. Sometimes I'm not ginger. There's a big dream of a bunch of be fresh. Then I go back when I jump my house. I'm not saying crow for me. Now my my bomb pan. I'm quashing my dinner. Because I didn't have a team. When you climb the when you climb the altar, it is not individualistic again. As I'm preaching here, eh? I am preaching because I'm the one God is about singing. It's a team. That is why the devil was able to deceive one third of the angels. Because those angels are always under him with quiet practice. So they were more closer to the devil than God. Be careful anybody you are close to in church who is in a position. When they sing, they sing with you. Oh, don't mind this one. Don't mind. I wish I can be. Satan sank with all the one third of the angels. They were made heavily beings, but then they become demons. Hell is waiting for them. Laziness, pride. 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 If my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray. Somebody say pride. Look at your neighbor and say, everybody knows you are proud. Tell the person, everybody knows. And tell him, me, I know you are proud. I know. He say, I am afraid to tell you, but today the opportunity has come. <laughs> I have always yearning to tell you, but thank God that he has given the opportunity. I want to, you, look, 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 do your hand like this and tell him. I, 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 hey, I didn't say do it to two people. Look at my person and say, you. I have always had this opportunity, but today I've got it. You are proud. And today, may you be delivered from pride. Tell the person. Pride. Write it down. God cannot use a proud man and a proud woman. Yes, sir. It's not possible. He resists the pride. So when you are proud, God stands in front of you. Mm. God, God say, you are not going anywhere. Mm. I will make sure you will move. God resists the pride. He gives more grace to the humble. Listen. During this 70th day, let it be your prayer. Lord, give me a humble heart. Search me and know my heart. Try me. I may be proud and I don't know. Lord, help me. If there is any pride in my heart, remove it. The way your husband cannot touch you is pride. Ay, 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 ay. The way you are not be talking to your wife for one week is pride. That's nothing. You feel exalted. You feel it's a privilege for your wife to marry you. Pride is like a cancer. It is eating you much more until one day it just finishes you. What brought the devil to this earth, sir? Pride. I will exalt my throne above the most high. How can the creation fight the creator? Satan, you have lost your mind. You are going to fight the one that created you. 
God did, he, God did he even come to the battle. It was too low for him. Michael came there. He said, stupid guy. Now you, what do you mean? We are sitting here, a quarter star is going to make a coup. Do you have arms? Michael fire him like a lighter. God said, I won't come. If I come and fight you, it's not fair. A father don't fight his children. I'll let one of your brothers. Michael fired the devil to the earth. The devil is too small for God to fight. So the way you are following him, you will sink with him. You want to go to hell because of a woman's uh, 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 sexual organ? For what? For what? How, how many times can you have sex? Think about it. It's possession. You are under demonic spell. Sin is destructive. Sin is the reason you will not get anything from your prayer life. Laziness is the reason. Pride. Pride. I have never seen proud people like these generation Christians. They can be so arrogant. One day, I went to preach in Adenta many years ago. There was a shell station at Medina. I was coming there and it was around 11.30. Those were the places that were young prophet that we want to prophesy to Jesus come. I came there and I walked there to go and find something. When I got there, three, they were closing. That's the time I'm Robert started and then all the filling stations are closing at a certain time. I walked there and said, Madam, please, I'm hungry. Hey, Krachi, chop, 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 chop. So please, I beg you, I just take it. You're in time, Krachi, you're in time. Do you like it? You're closing, put off the light. I pick up a drink, then I pull money. I've I, I forgotten the currency at that time. When I put, hey, you need sister. When I watch the wabaye, say be a mama. You have come here. You are also bringing big money. Catch it, catch it. Hey, hey. Say, madam. Okay, you don't worry. I don't need a change. Take the money. Then I realize you say, oh, please, sir, give me a change. I was invited to a particular church. I don't want to mention the name. Actually, what I went to preach. She was an usher. Now hear this. Me, I've forgotten about the thing. I was preaching. I finished preaching. I was in the pastor's vestry. The pastor came and get crying. A girl cry and say, This my daughter is crying, and he has come to tell me something, prof. Anyway, I said, This one, I have to bring her to you. He said, I think you came to buy something. She works at the filling station, and you, I think he said, He's insulted. I said, Oh, you are the lady who didn't collect. <laughs> the conviction of the Holy Ghost. You don't need to know people before you respect them. Pride. To know that men's persons in admiration because of game, because of advantage, men's persons in admiration because of advantage. You don't need to know who they are. Paul said that respect everybody, treat everybody well. As you do that, you may entertain angels. Maybe the person is an angel, and who must show spirit of pride. You cross some church, gather at the station, and start talking about the man of God who stood in front of you to pray. Do you know the things we say? Anybody that you join to talk about to me, don't join people's cases. Don't. When people are sinking, they want to sink with people. Mm. Satan came with one third, they can go with you. Mm. You have to be sharp. 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 Be delivered from the spirit of pride. Second Chronicles chapter 7, verse number 14. Don't forget the scripture. A benefit scripture for fasting. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse number 14. If my people, if my porterians, if the porter's family, if the PFC family, which are called by my name for this seven day day fasting, shall humble themselves, it means they are out of pride, and themselves and pray and seek my faith. So to join the fasting is a demonstration of humility. If they shall, those who are called by me, they will humble themselves. A proud person will never come to church. They will talk and start talking in the car. What, what does he mean? You, you know the things you are dealing with. We have businesses to do. Keep on doing your business. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. I have seen in this country wealthy people, some of them are my friends. Wealthy, wealthy, millionaires, mortal billionaires. One government came, closed their empire. Those people that are millionaires, closed their empire. The only thing that has kept them is that they know God. Those who didn't know God, they have died. Because where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be. Pray! If 
you don't fast and pray and you are not part of these 70 days, when you see God blessing us tomorrow, don't be envious. Because God will kill you. Yeah? Can you imagine, Prophet Nana, you envy my blessing? Do you know the price that goes into that thing? Do you know the things, there are things Paul said that the things are so, I can't tell you. There are things we have experienced in heaven that he want us to talk about. People have blessed me with all kinds of things. They are not in my heart. Cars, whatever, house, houses, they are not in my heart. Somebody gave me a house five years, I've never seen it. He gave me a house, sorry, building, five years. I've never gone there to see the house. Five years. Yesterday, just occurred to me that let me just get somebody to just renovate this house. Five years. The person gave me the house. Five years, I've never gone to see. You see where my heart is? All the material things you are chasing, you come to the place to see that. No, no, no. I'm panting after God. I love God, though. The place of God's love in my heart, you can't compete with it. I love God too much to come and sleep with a choir star. You. When I see the person that sleep with you, I don't understand them. I love God too much. I not that you are not beautiful, but you cannot can put you in the place of God. For what? Joseph said, how can I do such a sin against the Lord? This is what if I want to replace God in my life. Control yourself. You can't. Hey! Sin only doesn't have wages. It's a reproach. Mm. That is the word. Righteousness is all, but sin is a reproach. If you don't get anything out of this fasting, check it. Put your son there. You live in a church like with prayer, fasting, holiness, but you are determined not to live a holy life. What are you looking for? Because all the men that sleep with you, they leave a deposit. You don't have this sickness. Some gynecological problems. Now, Baba, your mom pain and break it. As if we are magicians. Your mom pain and break it. Your mom pain and call. Your baby mom pain ba ba ba. When you get delivered, then you go back to the scene again. Reproach. Young young people. One one person sent me a message. He's one of the choristers. His husband, his wife. I cry. Ask mommy. I am saying it's a bony day. When I attend the face, sometimes when I'm preaching like this, he's afraid because me prophet, I'm my body. If you diminish, I will deal with you, with all the forces inside me. The wives, I went to hospital. I keep having infection. The doctor said your husband is committing too much adultery. Because this infection can only take it. It's not possible to have it if your husband is not committing adultery. And the doctor began to explain why it doesn't affect him, but it affects you. And he was crying profusely. A querester. They are my line. Should I mention the person's name? <laughs> I was there. I put, we say, hey, because who, who, who can remember also? I'm trying. I'll pick your own prophetic. That all the things I preach here, your wife cannot come and say, Daddy, thank you. That as of your preaching, I have a good husband. Oh. All the things I preach here, mm. the labor mm. that your wife will call me and cry. Mm. Now you want us to labor in vain. What your sorry beat is our sorry way. The things we preach. Now your wife has come and is crying. Daddy, mommy cry lost appetite. I didn't lost appetite. I ate. Until I mean lose appetite. You know, me be fast, my mini dick cry. From the me had the oil, me, me, me. I preach at Jesus. Because of you, I shouldn't eat. Ah, they have done some bengu and tilapia. How much you charge a tomato sine is a green green pepper at the end? No, I'm the appropriate so now uh tell out and ask asena and when I stay bill. And because of your mommy there, mommy said, as for me, cry there, I don't want to eat. I said, Mom Fari didn't come here. Because of you, I shouldn't eat. All the things I've been preaching here, I shouldn't eat because of you. God forbid. A young person, you are not even 35 years. You have married. You are what bra me and my mouth so cry. 
a little elevation. You are even making it look like God has made a mistake for blessing you. Oh. If you don't get anything out of this fasting, it's because you have not changed your ways. There is a place you just make a U-turn. You just, there is a C-turn, there is a U-turn. Yes. You just make a U-turn, bam, no. And I'm not going back to this life. This is it. You are too young to destroy your life. You don't know where God is taking you. If it is just following a guy to travel somewhere, there is a time comes, you even don't want to travel. Prophet, and if I want to travel, I won't stay in Ghana for one week. I don't like traveling. I have over, I don't know how many passports I have. This one get full. It just, this one get full. So that when I go to immigration, they open, I have about three, they open, they say, hey, what, what, what's going on? Because I have a visa in the third one, it's not a, a spy, so you, you type them, so you, you always script them. But when I'm mad, I didn't have a passport. God's leg is stronger than any man's leg. God can take you where no man can take you. Just see me yourself. My, yeah, 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 yeah. The Lord bless you. Hey, if you don't, listen to me. Take your time and walk with God. Today I want to tell you that I need five minutes more. I'm supposed to close early. I have to finish this message. Straight. Let me make another point. If you don't get anything out of this fasting, you are walking in unforgiveness. Mm. Write it down. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. If you don't get anything, all the people that are fasting, and they finish, you can finish fast for 40 days and 40 nights, and nothing will come out of it. Because yeah. your heart is not correct. Hey. Unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. Look at your neighbor and say, I know you are holding something against me. Tell them, tell them, tell them, tell them. Look at your girl and say, I remember that thing I did to you. I've not forgiven me. Tell the person. If you remember you have done somebody, wake up and go to the person and say, Oh, can't say no. I remember. I told you that somebody went to tell the pastor, told him that. Look at your neighbor, stand in front of the person and say, Whatever do you will do me. Hey. Huh? So can you imagine B standing in front of me and say that, oh, daddy, whatever do you, whatever has happened to me will happen to her. So once he said that, Jesus, every blessing will come. Mm. One guy was so lucky, he stood before a guy who had just had an accident with bandage on his hand. The man looked at him and said, whatever will do, you will do you again. And he just turned. I, 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 I convert everything, but this one, I refuse to convert it. Whatever do you, will do you again. I refuse to repeat what the pastor said. It's not everything you covet. Sure, one day, me and mommy was talking to a chief executive, and he said there was a president, it's a former president, be wife. And he said, I used to work with them. Their marriages are not good. But the woman is a beautiful woman. He said, I know. They are not even married. They don't live together. And they put them on the screen. People start sharing those Facebook. Lord, I want my marriage to be like this. And he said, my heart. He said, do people know what they are claiming? Keep on going to Facebook and claim things. When they put on some face shadow and bring it, then you don't know the depths. So you just go there. I want my marriage to be. I want my marriage. I want my marriage to be like this. I want my marriage to be like this. You have never claimed my marriage. You are claiming this. <laughs> if you don't get anything out of this fasting, it's because of your heart of unforgiveness. Unforgiveness. Matthew chapter eleven. Let me read from verse number. 22 there about. 23. Matthew 11, 23. Quickly. Mark, Mark, Mark 11, 23. Why am I quoting scriptures and missing it like that? Mark 11, 23. Because of your sins. Mark 11, 23. Verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say to this mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea. Ha, ha. Be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea and shall not doubt in his heart. Powerful point for prayer. This thing changes people's life. This is the revelation Papa Higgin wrote everything. This revelation shifted that man of faith. Apostle of faith in his time. Huh? 
that you shall say to be that removed and be that cast into the sea and shall not doubt in your heart, but shall believe that those things which he says shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he says. Let's keep going. Therefore, I say unto you, what things whatever you desire, what do you desire? What do you desire in this fast? A car, a wedding, a house. God said that there's something I call the law of desire. God is not angry when tomorrow you buy a private jet, I'll come and dedicate it. Amen. That is what you desire. God is not angry when tomorrow you park here a Lamborghini. It is your desire. Don't ever deceive yourself to think that when you get powerful things, God is angry. Then God has contradicted his way. When you are driving a Hyundai and God gives you a range of a drive it comfortably. Because that is what you desire and God has given them to you. This is a scripture called the law of desire. But I have not finished with you. Don't clap yet. What is whatever you desire when you pray? Believe that you receive them and you shall have them. But the key to get 24 is in 25. What it is. But when you stand praying. So if you miss this one, then 22, 23, 24 will never work. So if you don't get anything out of this fasting, the resentment is too much. People are walking in church. There is no generation Christian that are pretending like this one. Pretense. Hypocrisy. Pretense. Pretense, pretense, pretense. Look at your neighbor and say, I know you don't like me. I know. Tell the person I know. I know Saturday Christ, I mean, after tell you gossip. Tell the person I know you gossip about my dress. But I want to promise you next week I wear a better one than this one. Tell them, tell them. I say what I say, tell them, tell them. Tell them, I know you don't like my hair side. Or you are, tell the person I know you are jealous of me. Tell them, tell them. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. Most of the attacks on the devil on our life, it is real. Let me show you. If Osofen and Anketia sit down, and you and Ananketia is talking about Vicky, you have given the devil legal right to attack him. So most of the attack of the devil, I say, suddenly when you I say, body be two Christian brothers or sisters talking about you has made the devil launch a missile. Paul said, as you talk and envy one another, be careful you don't destroy one another. It's not the devil destroy, you we destroy. That is why gossiping is part of the sins that take people to hell. Concern. We are all praying that God should bless us. If one person gets blessed, then all of us are envious. Envy. 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 Envy, envy, jealousy and enviness. Envy. Everybody blessing in Ghana is suspicious. Why are we wasting our time like that? Lord bless us, oh Lord. Uh, uh, what do we call Jehu anointing? Obedidom anointing. Now, now, the anointing back. Can we handle it? Mm-hmm. We're just angry. Mm. Angry. By the grace of God, as people bless me with cars, I happen to drive some nice cars. Oh, the, oh, oh, no, no, ca, 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 ca. the way people will watch you. And so that you could see the evil eye with their watching. When I'm praying, where were you? Some people, all oh, their friends in church are gossipers. You can't sit down. Yeah. Yeah, have you noticed that you and your friend, you can't discuss Bible? Yeah. 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 You don't want me to can't talk about. Oh, do you know what, the, what daddy preach? Everything is about somebody. Who the pastor? You like Jesus? Who chana? Who you pe? No, the pastor. No, get Jesus. Who my chana? No, I'm for pastor Abed. I'm for you. You know, pay me now, pastor. My daddy is for Abedus. Now, me oh, the way I go before God and. The way my voice has access to heaven. It is dangerous to put that person in your gossiping list. Stay out of those things. It will help you. Now let me tell you this. Don't finish gossip about me. When I'm due anointing, you bring your head. God will curse you. 
Father God, one can say you have pronounced the curse on yourself. Because you don't talk about a man that God used him as a contact for impartation for you. You just wish him well. I'm preaching. Before we start the fasting tomorrow, and then to cry for playing Nako Kumasi. Don't only send text message, buy something. Add unforgiveness. Your former boyfriend, Fachano, he didn't rape you. He did not. He rape you. you follow him legally. If I won't go to Dan, I will be a Dan. You took the key. Oh, no, to be me. I didn't see you in the whole purpose. I didn't want to be me for mom and I will check. Cut and I will be. What is your problem? Did he rape me? Did he rape me? No. So why are you angry? <laughs> I don't want to hear that. I don't. I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear that. Uh, Daddy, you don't know what you're talking about. The soup I've done for him. Who went to the market? I want to know who went to the market to remember the test. Why are you inquiring, Mamida? Why are you inquiring, Mamida? Why are you angry? Call him after church and say, Mamida was sick. I still love you. If you want more, come. Oba, you inquire, man. Oba, say, you inquire, man. Or say, if you don't forgive your neighbor, neither will your heavenly father. It is in the Bible. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespass as we forgive those who trespass. You own God too much who has forgiven you for you to hold somebody who has done you something little. But say, boy, now we will no. He didn't force you. Yes, sir. No. No. fix the appointment. Yes, sir. One hour will say, Oba. You told him Monday was no good for you because your cycle has not ended. It's your financial Friday. You follow me. And come say I'm here. Say say I'm here. Say say I'm come say. Release him. Let me come after you two, lady. I gave this girl fifty thousand Ghana cedis. He did he break your wardrobe? Chop the money. Don't take it back to him. Don't pay the money. Chop it. That is your payment for what you suffer. Chop it. The case has closed down. Everybody should follow their Christ and continue. In the days of ignorance, God overlooks. God will not consult people's part to determine their future. Don't repeat the mistake. He didn't force you. You gave the money to him. I gave it to him because I thought he was going to marry me. Was it a contract that was signed? Can I put some name on that money? Bad debt. It's, it's gone. It will not be paid. Hallelujah to Jesus. Are you getting something out of here? I mean, I wrote another thing here that will not help you to get something out of this family strife. Family strife. First Peter 3 6. Family strife. Family strife. The family background you come from. I was doing my national service in Volta Region. I was preaching the Pentecost Church. Two elders were fighting. They, they don't talk. And the reason for the fight is that this elder goat went to cross this elder's female goat. Spark a fight. Why did your goat chase my goat and cross it? And the matter came to the elder. He called me and said, Pastor. He called me and said, Teacher, come and help. I said, Help about our goat. This is it. Family strife. 
Do you know, yeah, there are certain families strive will never leave there because they leave it for generations. Mm. Your mother left something for you against your auntie. So you hate your cousins. Family strive. Prophet Nana, I'll tell you the truth. Your father, mm, mm, Jesus is Lord. Amen. Even as Sarah obey Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters he are, as long as he do well and are not afraid with any amazement. Verse 7. Likewise, he husband dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor to the wife as unto a weaker vessel, and as be held together of the grace of life, that your prayers will not be hindered. So if you don't get anything out of the prayer, oh no, you didn't talk quah. Fasting time. Confusion. Family strife. No respect for anybody. They do fasting and now they have demon temptations in Abba. You create some fight. You create. Somebody slapped his wife. And then we are talking. He said, Daddy, I have tried to stop. But the way he behaves, if you don't slap her, he will never stop. So if you see him misbehaving, it means that you want the covenant of slapping to be renewed. Yeah. I see once in, a, once in two months, we have a man one day to slap. Then he came to himself. And then you to maintain it uh, for two months. Then you see him misbehaving that you can't understand. Then boom. Then he just relax. Afram says it's called taming apparatus. I'm not the one who said it. it's Afram. Taming apparatus. Afram. Afram. I don't know whether he has been taming his wife with those apparatus. He's a good man. Hallelujah. Amen. Write this one down. If you don't get anything out of this fasting, it's because you are forsaking God. Forsaking God. You don't come to meeting and a prime road traffic. Where in Ghana that we don't have traffic? Even going to your bedroom, is there no traffic there? You don't do have traffic going to your bedroom. There's traffic. There is no way in Ghana there's no. Pastor Martin said that, somebody said that, life is a journey, but not on Pram Pram Road. Yeah, yeah. That is somebody's quote. I don't know whether I've quoted it right. Huh? He said, well, life is a journey, but what? Don't pass through the Pram Pram Road. So life is a journey. <laughs> don't pass through the cone. The when you wrote, it, yes, it was a quote on Facebook. Life is a journey, but if the journey is that place, whoa, you will pass here. You better pass because it's where your destiny is. If, and I know it was written by somebody in this church. That quote. Check it well. You will find that is this person. Cannot be an excuse. There was a one day we near Ko Israel. Suddenly, some strange traffic became. I've forgotten that particular Israel. Terrible traffic. Eh? One person told me, Papa, when I go to airport, I got down and walk. I call somebody, I say, Famika, you call for your mommy. Where are the person? And I walk. When you get to Pramam Toshi, will you walk to church? We value going to America in Israel and God. Do you know something? If you don't get anything out of us, God knows you don't respect him. You only want to serve God on your convenience. Okay? Yeah? Jesus climbed the mountain of temptation to go and fast. When you go to Israel, where Jesus climbed, there are two ways to go. That you go there by cable cars, the steps. I think the steps is over 2,000. I don't remember. 2,000 something steps. And sometimes you go there with a cable car. I say, Jesus climbed this one to go and seek the face of his father. You are not climbing in the mountain. You are in a car. You are not even the driver. Your problem is traffic. Are you the one driving? No. Even if you are the one driving, look at the car you are driving. Look at that sophisticated, soft, moving steering car. I saw one guy driving a, 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 a tipper tank, a, a, the tipper tra- the, 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 the car that trips him. He was negotiating the car. He stopped. <laughs> and then he has to turn the thing. Then one of the mates have to use a stick to lock the stair so that it doesn't come back. 
Then he started moving the car. Is that the car you are driving? <laughs> if I when I saw that the, 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 the tipper, I gave it a longer distance because who could tell the answer? The tipper, so what are you going to do? I'm telling you, the answer. Then they made to lock it with a stick. Another driver sitting there locking. Now I'm a chima and son will move car. So this is not the car you turn, they say you stop and turn before you move. Now listen. Immediately, my car, the car kind of car by the grace of God, I can use one finger to turn the steer. The Lord said, You don't even thank me. Look at somebody's steer. Look at the steer I've given you. I didn't know all cars. I didn't know all roadworthy. Accuse God for nothing. Sometimes you have to, if you look at what people are going through, you thank God. Sometimes when I'm driving and it's raining and people are standing in the rain looking for taxi and I throw my hand and I say, Lord, thank you. I haven't been there before. Don't forsake God. Don't forsake God. I said, don't forsake God. Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 2. Asa, Asa, Asa. Second Chronicles chapter 15 verse 2. And he went out to meet Asa and said unto him, Hear ye me, Asa, and all Judah and Benjamin, the Lord is with you. Why he be with him? And if he seek him, he will be found of you. But if you forsake him, he will forsake you. Next verse, put it there. Now, for a long season, Israel has been without a true God and without a teaching priest and without law. They forsaking God. This is not the generation to forsake God. This is not the generation to think you can make it yourself. It's too blur. Things are not clear. Nobody knows what is going to happen. Now, now, Americans are looking for doctors. Sorry, nurses. There is North Dakota. They are paying nurses $6,000, $10,000. People are not working. Because of what no matter. Second wave, third wave, fourth wave, fifth wave. All the wave, the only place it has never worked is Africa. Mm. Yeah. They still cannot explain. They have started building their offices in Ghana. They want to explain why on the two part that you go Africa, it doesn't kill anyone. I have just tell you something spiritual. They want to blow the powder in Egypt, in, 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 in India, it killed many. Then they use that to discredit the AstraZeneca. If you claim your vaccine work while you die, come and buy my own. You don't like the truth. That's why sometimes I just want to preach to you some way. Because you are not spiritual. You don't even know the times. I I can tell you where you are going, but you can't tell. But I'm preaching to you. If you follow this system and the things I'm preaching, you will escape. If you go to Britain now, if you travel and you have taken two double, two uh, jabs of AstraZeneca, Britain don't recognize it. They will tell you to go and quarantine for 10 days. And they will monitor you. But if you have taken Pfizer from America, they will recognize it. Mind game. Eh? Babylon is grabbing the money and that is what is trapping you. I must make the money. What is that you talking about? Me, here's Kadi, I wear it. <laughs> A girl went to sleep with his former boyfriend, Shaggy, Sugar Daddy. Got 50,000 Ghana cities to come and support his wedding. The guy told me. The guy was praying, caught it by a dream. And asked the girl, have you done this? And he said, God show me. And he told him what God said, if you lie, I should do. He said, it's true. I wanted our wedding to be fine. Went there. Slept. Because of fine wedding slept with his sugar daddy the man gave him 50,000 Ghana city cash to come and support wedding oh look at look at your neighbor are you a Christian ask them are you are you sure for the way you behave sometimes I doubt your Christianity don't forsake God yeah? the reason why you wife you have to pray that even a lot of you wives say you are deceived yourself to tell your husband is holy you are so much out of touch that you don't even know what is going on because you can't pick things. There are things that we see our eyes cannot talk about. Our mouth cannot talk. So pray that God will protect you. 
because you are too naive. One man told me, said, I slept with my house head for two years. My wife couldn't pick it. Wow. We did abortion three times. My wife couldn't pick it. Mm. Anytime the girl says, I'm going to visit my mother, he's going to be healed of the abortion and come back. And we're there. I mean, the the fear of God in a man is better than trying to be a security to protect her. So when you say, I know what a friend is saying, Okada, Ukuntuka, now what for Okada, now Tietri, Udo Bo Atali Okada, man Yeti, Nato, Tobo Tobo Okada, Menko, Tobo Tobo Tobo, Dika, Dika, Garu, Dinachiboko, Menko, Tobo Tobo, Mr. Tobo, so then I'll come once at Tobo. Ube, who? Ube, who? Qua? And I tell you, where Baba see you? You are disturbing yourself. Self God. Nobody is in control of their partner's holiness. If the man decides to commit adultery, there's nothing you can do. It is the fear of God that exempts people from doing things. They go with their judgment. If your husband won't go to heaven, go. If your wife decides not to go to heaven, go. I'm preaching. Amen. Last but one. Provoking God. During this time, don't provoke God. Huh? Don't provoke God. Don't provoke. Deuteronomy chapter 20, Deuteronomy chapter 3, verse 20 says, Don't provoke God. Don't provoke God. But the Lord was wrought with me for your sake and will not hear me. And the Lord said to me, Let it suffice thee. Speak no more unto this. Do you remember? I called this scripture. Moses came. The Lord said, Hey! Moses, don't pray this prayer again. Anywhere you. You provoke God. Israel provoke him until, instead of speaking to a rock, he strike it. Next one. Hard heartedness. Akuma a day. If you don't get anything out of this fast, your heart is hard. Akuma a day. <laughs> Zachariah chapter 7 verse 12 to 13 wow yeah, they made their heart as an adamant stone go to the new living translation they made their heart as hard as stone okay? yeah, they made their heart as adamant stone they made their heart as hard as stone huh? so they could not hear the instruction or the message that the lord of heaven amis has sent them mm. by his spirit through the earlier prophets that is why the lord of heaven's army was angry with them so if you harden your heart god will be angry with you david said a broken and a contract that god will not despise why are they and yet you can't unsay go with you? I was studying something about communication, and the person doing presentation said something about approach, and I said it makes sense. He said it is important that when you meet people and you are talking, like you meet some person, stand up, person, somebody I'm going to talk to a lady. He said there are two ways of postures. Eh? You either stand before the person like this or like this. Hmm? Huh? Yeah. So it's not a person like this, or like this. Oh. <laughs> how, how can you get a breakthrough in life? You, I'll finish with you. Oh. No, I thought it makes sense. If you are a woman, you are talking to your husband, your hand is in your palm. No matter how angry he is, he will cool down. If you are talking and your hand is at the back, and for more demonstration in Ghana and Africa, they taught us to put our hand in our back. Don't try it in America, you die. Yeah. A pastor friend almost died for that. Went to America, Ghana, and he, he was going to ask direction for a policeman. When you see, he put his hand in his back. When the police picked the gun, he fell down. Because in America, when you put your hand in the police say you are taking a gun. So you shoot too fast before you shoot. He said, hey! What is your hand at your back? My pastor friend was weary. When the man, once American police take the gun, the bullet is on you. He said, say, I'm sorry. And he said, what, what do you mean you put your hand on your back? He said, where I come from, when we are talking to elders, you put your hand. He said, hey, 
I was going to say a word, but I will say American word. He said, you do that, you die. You are mad. I almost kill you. He said, don't do that in America. You don't put your hand in your bar. I thought you were taking a gun. But Ghana had it. So fine. Who could do America? Who could Kasani Bua food? The food you did, I didn't tell you I will eat your off. I said I want plain rice. So you are standing in front of us, honey, please. That's a complicated. What did you say? Can conflict be? I mean, how can you resolve conflict with such an attitude? <laughs> conflict resolution. How can you do it? You are more than Schwarzenegger. I don't know the kind of woman you are. I don't know the kind of how you are Rambo. Are you Sylvester Stallone or something? Do you can't humble yourself a little bit? Huh? What is that? Submitting yourself one to another. I thought about it. He said. Many times you are talking to people, when you approach, just put your hand. He said, he was teaching communication. He said, they will just receive you. He said, that act will let them be ready to listen to you. Because your demeanor can let somebody tune off. Yes, excuse me. Hey, hey. hey, hey. hey, hey. hey, hey. After you meet young girls who are talking, they don't know that is why God has blessed the Yoruba people. Yeah. Their culture. You see, elderly person. It's a culture. And they, they, they just humble themselves. I've seen it. I went to Nigeria, I saw pastors come to be support the poor. They, cut, they just hold his leg. And then they hold his leg. And then they, 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 they do it. One man told me, he said, I did you want my, my son to marry him here? Because when he appeared, he's even demeanor. You have a good heart by your attitude. He cut you off. All this thing you learn it from Facebook and TikTok. <laughs> no, listen, God is not God is against tradition, but he's not against culture. Don't just copy people's culture. Don't. Don't go and sit down with a boy. No for ring and show us another back and say, Daddy, I'm engaged. Me bow soon. <laughs> engaged for what? It's not our culture. You are not a white man. Who you brony? Is that why white people? Is that why they are not saying? We're saying I'm telling away. I brought you in saying that Our culture say, come and see your father. Daddy, this is my boy. Uh, collect list. List. But she's list. Do you know list? Yes. <laughs> then they have to tell us when they are coming for a game. Don't go and know that they put a ring in your hand. Oh my God. And bring it. When, <laughs> oh, I like that. When, when you see the ring, when you meet me, all of you, when you meet me, remove the ring before you talk to me. <laughs> no, gradually, as if said, they will copy Western culture and bring it. You have to accept it. Do you know one of my friends? He's a top man own some heavy business. He said, my daughter went to school in America, come back, and then, daddy, I'm engaged. He said, prof, make chaos our spirit of slapping. You know? <laughs> and we are planning for the wedding next month. Make chaos. <laughs> I can't imagine an Adjua come home one day, and then walk in here some way, daddy, I'm engaged. They may burn us when man should say, yeah, when you go, you land, you will never wake up again. You should try it. Prophet Nana, don't even mess around. Oh, sorry, not to me, Nanti, and I may as well. God has not sent me. If I give a dentist that you wake up and is able to walk two steps, God has not sent me. When I was going to marry mommy, I used to go to mommy's house. His father was very nice with him. Mr. Adi of blessed memory. One day, then we were getting close, close. One day when I greeted her, good morning, said, yes, who are you? 
And then they cause you. Ah! Then he said, I don't know you. Ah! I went home. I have a friend in the church. He's called Mr. Maki. He, used to, he is a friend to the old man. So he went there. He said, Prof, the way you are getting close to them is their culture. You have to come and do knocking. Because the knocking is that when you impregnate her, even to, thank God, if you impregnate her, you won't come and say that you are not the one. So now that you are getting close, a lot of guys visit her, but you, your, your closeness has been some way. So call, call, call. that means that bring a family member. So I went there with my, my at that time, my, 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 my mother's senior, uh, my, my mother's junior sister's husband. Let us knock it, okay. Uh, we have done this. And they asked us, when are you coming? Engagement. Oh, <laughs> I said, Mammy, but you make a TV, Abba. Now we did Call Nako TV. We will see the TV to become a scan. One day, the TV. The best scan. You're the Shirema, the Fro. Who? You're the Shirema. No, Ako. You, you, because of you, Ako, there's a lot of parrots in your area. Your father always said, Nadebia, that Ako, that could be Nadebia, also, so it's your boyfriend. They will kill you. You are a bit. All these things is happening. I went there. We do knocking now. After that, when I got there, oh, Pastor. The, the, the moment I got there, you got this. Ah, I you what? They say, ah, Pastor, you was just here. Let me call him. You go to that house. Let me call him. I said, Daddy, I'll go and call. No, 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 no. When I have not done knocking. Yes, good morning. Yes, who are you? <laughs> that is an idiomatic expression way to bring your mind down. Because I don't know who you are. You claim you are a pastor. You claim. And how many pastors have impregnated people's daughters? A pastor impregnated somebody, three choristers in a church I had recently, and he said the Holy Ghost told him to do it. <laughs> he said, Baby, I then I could do no. Can give you the tape. He said, Hong Kong Cruce on Yimon. How many points have I given yourself? How many points? Let me give you this one, then stand to your feet. There's a particular point I'm looking for. Hallelujah to Jesus. Somebody say, Amen. Amen. Have I given you a hard, a hardened heart? Yes. Lack of love and mercy. Now I'm running very fast. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 13. Mm -hmm. Another reason your prayers will not work. Vain repetition. Vain repetition. Hmm. Another one. Failure to thank God. Vain repetition. Matthew chapter 6, verse 7. Look if you are him. Very repetition. But when he pray, use not very repetition as the hidden do. For they think they shall be head of their many prayers. That's why I say, come and join the prayer. Huh? huh? Lack of love and mercy. Proverbs 21 verse 13. But, 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 but. Proverbs 21 verse 13. Proverbs 21 verse 13. But be thou exalted, O Lord, in thy own strength. So will we sing and praise thy power. Amen. Hallelujah. Mm. Mm hmm Mm -hmm. Now, put this one down quickly. Then we close. Overcoming the enemies of prayer. Number one, wandering spirit or lack of concentration. Enemies of prayer. This one, if you don't get anything out of it, these are the three enemies of prayer. Major enemies of prayer. Wandering spirit or lack of concentration. I want to why join the heart. I to now I call her. Now I call for my boyfriend. Lack of concentration. When you are praying, let your mind. He will give him. He will. Give, he will leave him in perfect peace. Whose mind is stay on him. Once your mind is stay on God, He will keep you in perfect peace. He will keep them in perfect peace. Whose mind is stay on him. Take your mind from that foolish boy. Put it on God. What do you mean the well foolish boy for that? Every one of who is caught in with a boy who is not born again. That is the coat he must wear. And you wear it with him. What is the first enemy of prayer? Huh? Interruptions. Second enemy. A lot of people will go to hell because of Things like television, internet. Oh, Jesus Christ. That devil's box. Huh? Interruptions. And Pablo Albon, Rocco TV, Facebook, Twitter, uh, WhatsApp. Eh? 
TikTok. Don't sit down in prayer. Now, whilst you are praying, you are texting. You are insulting God. And I have a humble, humble, humble. Oh, yo, oh, yo, oh, oh, oh. What does you know that turn off? Oh, yo, oh, 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 Let his mind be in you. Yeah, listen, look at me. Treat God with respect. Last enemy. Sleeplessness. Mm. Feeling sleepy. Feeling sleepy. Major enemy of prayer. Write it down. Feeling sleepy. Hey. How you about? No, no, this is the this is the serious one. Those who who stand and sleep. Oh boy, oh 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 yo. What is that? I was telling people the other night. Some of you you sleep when you are standing. You sleep when you are sitting. You sleep when you are bathing. So if you hear anybody has fall in the bathroom, he was sleeping. It will be a tear your bathroom and now. There was a wedding ceremony. The bride was sleeping. They were sitting there. Uh, please, bride and groom. Yeah, now I can say bride. That yeah, almost was soon. Hey, that. I know I'm an anthem. It's a major enemy. When you pray and sleep, it's not only enemy, it's an insult to God. You honor God so much. If you talk to me and not sleep, then don't talk to God and sleep. Stand to your feet. It's a major teaching. It's a major teaching. Today, I, I decided to take you a little extent. I decided to just stretch you a little bit. Yeah? The message I just preached to you, it is not preached in many churches. There is this so-called grace message. Do anything and you are going to heaven. Keep on going. Hey, you don't go to heaven on your terms. So you go to heaven on God's terms. Nobody has a shareholder in heaven. Nobody is a shareholder. God owns all the things. You come there in his terms. Nobody. We are saved. We are being saved and we shall be saved. This is a continuous thing. We are saved, we are being saved, we shall be saved. Don't toy with your life. Yes, sin is addictive. Yes, sin is reproachful. Sin is destructive. That's hell. Get something out of this fasting. Lift up your holy hands. Anything in me that will not let me get the fullness of Christ, let grace remove it out of me now. Open your mouth and talk to the master now. Any little fox sex in me, any addictions, any sinful nature, any pride, any laziness, anything. Little foxes is what spoil the vine. Little foxes is what spoil the vine. Little foxes is what spoil the vine. Lord, have mercy on me according to your loving kindness. According to the multitude of your tender mercy, brought out my transgression. My sins are ever before me that you will be justified. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a steadfast spirit within me. Hey, 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 pray, pray. Tell God, tell him. Have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. Wandering spirit, deal with it. Interruptions in your prayer. I stand for concentration. Sleepless. Sleepless. I refuse to sleep when I'm praying. Talk to me. I'm praying as a little bit, but it's worth it. I'm stepping to revive you. 
Everybody open your mouth and say, Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. I come to you this morning. I come to you this just morning. Just as I am. Just as I am. I receive your way. I receive your way. I ask you this morning. I ask you this morning. To forgive me. To forgive me. Of any iniquity in my heart. Of any iniquity in my heart. Conscious sin. Conscious sin. And unconscious sin. And unconscious sin. Since I know. Since I know. And do. since I don't know. And since I don't know. Let the blood wash me. Let the blood wash me. Create in me. Create in me. A clean heart. A clean heart. Renew. Renew. A steadfast spirit a within me. Spirit this morning, this morning, as we start our seventy days fasting, I rededicate my, read read my, read my life to you. Dedicate my life. Deliver me. Deliver me from anything. From anything that stands between me. That stands between me and the formation of Christ in me. Formation of Christ in me. Jesus. Jesus. Have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And help me to be like you. And help me to be like you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen and amen. Hear this. That is the conclusion of the matter. That Amen. we will be like Christ. Amen. My little children in whom I travel in birth till ah. Christ be forming you. Until we have to come to the place. It is no money and cars. Mm. Formation of Christ. We become like him. Yes, when we see him, we shall be like him. Ah. So that is it. 
it is when we come to that place that we can be called Christians. Yeah. What we have there, I don't know the name. The one we have now, I don't know the name. But may the Lord bring us to the place that we become Christians. Christians don't fornicate. Christians don't commit adultery. The target becomes holiness. You pursue holiness. You go after it. You are yearning for it. You are fighting for it. And you are fighting your way for godly living. Listen to me. Somebody here, you will never be the same again. Amen. Can I tell you this? By the time we are ending this 70 day fasting, you will be like somebody who just appeared from heaven. Amen. It is not only going to be prosperity, but the glory of God will be radiating around you. Amen. <laughs> it took me years to get to know that it is not fasting and prayer that bring anointing. It's purity. 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 It is a booster of power. Purity. Whatever you have done, it is gone. But don't repeat it. Don't repeat it. Don't repeat it. Striving. It is a blessing to come to the place you are growing. You can look at you yourself. You love yourself. You walk, somebody insults you, then you thank him. I love something. Somebody insulted somebody on their platform at work. He told me. He said, You put something that the person said, These stupid things. And he said something about stupid, this thing that you have written. And the person replied, Say, I thank you for showing me the stupidity of my side. I promise I'm going to work on it. That word tormented the person. He came back to her and apologized. And because he was richer than the one he sought, in his apology, he blessed the person with a car. Are you getting it? You are matured when you don't answer your critics. You are matured. Hear this. When your wife can insult you and you'll be laughing. You are mature. When you don't join people to gossip, it means you are growing. You have passed that stage. You are mature. Hear this. When the boyfriend come after church and he say, boy, I love you so much, but I can't continue this life with you. Please, go and look for Christ. I want to stay with you. Can you imagine you are fornicating with me at the trumpet of rapture sound? Think about it. I will not exchange my heaven for you. You are too ugly for me to exchange heaven for you. Too much. Can you imagine this boy standing? Look at that boyfriend that you are trying to exchange heaven for. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Receive grace for purity. Yes. Amen. God richly bless you. Amen. Yes. Sit down and take your tithe. You are close. and the ten white virgins. Both of them were virgins. Hmm. The difference is that one didn't have extra oil. Listen, 
Heaven is for overcomers. Only. To him that overcome it. To him that overcome it. To him that what? Over girls? Heaven is for overcomers. There will be testings and try. One day you have to choose between Jesus and black money. <laughs> you have to choose between Jesus and that somebody's husband. One day Joseph has to choose between a woman and a throne. He chose the throne. Moses refused. He refused to enjoy pleasure temporary for a season. He decided to suffer affliction with his brethren. Daniel will not contaminate himself with the king's food. Daniel 1 8. And he made it to the top. <laughs> Do you want to make it to the top? No substitute for purity. Christ. No substitute for integrity. I told you, one of the most expensive things on earth is trust. Trust. Don't compromise it. You have a future. <laughs> Joseph could have slept Mrs. Potiphar and quash off his throne. Ah. Do you know where you are going? That guy deceiving you to take you to America. America will be nothing. There is no country I present my passport that will refuse me a visa. I've left that stage long time. Hmm. Hmm. One day I was talking to a, 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 what do we call it? Um, a chief executive. And he told me, he said, Prof. If you maintain your residence visa in a country, I had a resident visa of, of a country in Europe, and I have a visitor's visa. They cancelled the resident uh, the visitor and gave me the resident visa. And I wrote to them by law with a lawyer. I said, Restore also my visitor's visa. So I had it too. I said, Why did you do that? I said, I pay for it. I go to the airport every time it's confusion. Ask my wife. You can't have this uh, because when I'm collecting my vat, they say, No, you have a resident visa. I said, I don't stay here. So the next time I'm going there, they say, We have to cancel one of them you, because you confuse the computer. And they, they decide to cancel the residence. And they gave me the visitor's visa. Now, coronavirus came. Then I realized that you can only go to that country when you have residence visa. But. <laughs> it's not every battle you fight. It's unnecessary. They gave me, but I can't see the reserve. I said, Prof, if you keep the reserve visa for some of years, they can give you a passport. I didn't know. You come to a place, you present your passport, they give you residency. You don't need to. Your strength is not in between your legs, it's in your mind. Yeah. Write it down, every question I write, take a book. It's a very powerful quote. It's in your mind. Use your mind. That's why it is. Pray and think. Hallelujah. If a woman grows strong, you become like a man. These 70 days, ah, unexplainable miracles will happen in this house. Now, hear this. This is the first time I hear great men of God, Father, say, Nana, I will join. I will join at this time. Yesterday, one of them called me say, I will join in November. I'm not just joined. I'll, I said, I will join through, but I'll come and stay. Pastor Martin told me something. They said that a lot of pastors, a lot of people are fixed. They are fasting within the 70 days. So one man told me, he said, Do you know when you declare fasting? It's a global fast. You are the only one who will be eating. <laughs> six to six. Where does the fasting fast? Condition for this 70 fasting. For 70 days fasting. Number one. It starts exactly. 11.59 midnight 12 o'clock okay, the fasting has started if you drink juice you have broken it there's no need to continue go your way you are not part of us it ran out to 6 o'clock in the evening the next day it's not 6 to 6 it's 12 midnight to 6 in the evening this is it First week of every month, we have we have uh, September is already gone, October, November, five days dry. To start the month, your input to determine your output. Foundation for that month. Eh? Keep quiet. Don't even talk. There is no there is no institution without law. Hallelujah. Yeah. It's not fasting with juice. 
anything you drink apart from water you are not part of the fast unless you are pregnant even that one if you fast your delivery will be easy I am on medication there is one man here one fasting he was on medication he stopped and stopped the medication and fasted when he finished went to the doctor the doctor said you don't need the medication again When did I say the fasting sat? So you start preparing yourself. Eleven fifty-nine. Okay, the fasting sat. You can eat for eleven fifty-eight. Fifty-nine. That's not. Do it to that you wake up for 30 and load yourself with banku. Then you know that's what that, that, that different fasting. That's a jump of this fasting. Oh, 11 59. That's what we call it's not six to six, it's midnight to six in the evening. If you drink juice 5 58, that fasting is useless. You didn't meet in the time, and God doesn't pay half job. So, discipline is let me tell you something about fasting. Tell God the kind of fasting. You are doing tell him the, 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 the duration you are going so that he can package your trial so when I'm doing 40 days and 40 nights there's a trial for it when I'm doing 6 to 6 the devil God make sure the devil visits me immediately I wake up from the morning once you wake up in the morning Satan told your stomach yeah, cru, 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 cru. that's where your trial has started Straight. lift up your seat you won't get tired I close the all night Friday, I went there. The Lord said, No, I agree with you for closing the all night exactly for. But when I'm moving, wait until I finish. Because I bought the all night, say you have sat on seven people's major breakthrough. Because you closed them, you did it. I was prophesying, you said I was under tremendous anointing. I can't. That is why today I've kept you small. This is a revival church. Are you getting what I'm talking about? You must learn. So that nobody will just be fasting and doing what I see some of you are fasting, you are holding food flags. What we are not doing food flags fasting. The only thing you hold during this fasting is potter's dew. Now I lift up this water that anybody that drink this water during fasting, no sickness will be able to stay in your body. So do it. You'll be blessed. Amen. Lift up your seed. Hallelujah. Uh, it is fasting that make you people look I mean to see people in this church some are 60 they look like they are 20 some are 40 they look like some are they, they don't grow it keeps you young trims you down uh, so first week in October dry first week in November uh, that one is 7 days then ending it I, I'll tell you when we get there you look very good. There will be commotions of weddings after that fast. I saw myself dedicating 70 babies at a stretch. We lift up God's blessing over your seed in Jesus' name. Amen. Stand to your feet. Hallelujah. Anything can happen. Old people, like Vero, them so they can become pregnant at any time. Can you imagine Vero come to church? She's pregnant. Twins. He has refused it, but when I promise I will refuse her unless I refuse it. All these ones, you see them having it. But the oil, the oil is going to be very thick. He said, You bring forth fruit in your old age. 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 Can you imagine Ruth is pregnant with triplets? And it's pregnant. There's a woman who became pregnant in a general church at the age of 62. 62 years. Time to give up. Father, we release blessing in Jesus' name. Amen. Give us a song. Come to the altar.